everybody. Now this Wednesday, I decided to do a little bit of a comparison for our movie. Now the two movies I'm comparing um, almost have the exact same title, only there's one little difference. The first one is Ebony Almighty. The second one is Bruce Almighty. So we're going to take a peek at them and we will take a look at the differences and um, then we'll look at the one thing that I think is the major similarity in both. So, let's take a peek at some of the pictures and stuff from each of these shows. And I will return in just a little bit to tell you what I think the major similarity for each of these shows is. So, I hope you enjoy the pictures that I found, and I will see you back in just a little bit. Okay, first we have Evan Almighty. In this show, Evan Almighty is uh, basically play paying the part of Noah. He has to make an ark. He has to collect two of each animal. He ends up with facial hair he cannot get rid of. And it kind of interferes with his family life until, after a while, it brings everything back together. And, of course, we have our happy ending. Now, in Bruce Almighty, he is giving God's powers. He is able to do things that God would do. So he finds himself able to do lots of stuff, such as blowing girls' skirts up. Um, he finds himself able to do all kinds of things. He starts playing with these powers, and he starts having fun. He really enjoys it. And after a while, he finds that it's not all just good fun. When he realizes he's got prayers that he has to listen to and try to answer. Then he finally talks to God and finds out it's not that easy. Hello, I'm back. So, from the pictures that you saw, you may have noticed one major similarity in these two movies. Not only are they movies based around kind of the Bible, Bible stories, meaning that Evan Almighty, he has to play the role of Noah, and Bruce Almighty is given God's powers and has to deal with not only the fun part, but the hard part of it. You may have noticed through these pictures, there's one major constant, one major similarity, and that's God. And it's not just any guy playing God. It's one of my absolute favorite actors. I honestly don't think they could have picked a better person to do it. And I honestly believe that's why he played the part in both of the movies. Morgan Freeman, of course. A man who has can go from playing God to playing a prisoner in Shawshank Redemption. He's very talented. And I think it is one of the reasons the show was so good. Because 
the role he is given, he plays it to the hilt, and he is really good at it. He knows what to do. He is a serious actor, but yet he's still a comedian, so he knows when to be funny. And honestly, it's thanks to him, I believe, not to mention the fact that the other two actors were good myself. I'm not extremely crazy about the guy from Evan Almighty. But of course, I do absolutely love Miss Eats and Jim Carrey. So, I put the two together, and uh, as it showed on some of those pictures, they're the almighty comedy duo. And I believe part of that reason is because of Morgan Freeman. So, what am I going to do for a uh, rating? Well, I'm going to rate him individually. And at the Almighty, I will be giving a 9 for a good family movie. Bruce Almighty. Again, I'm a sucker for Jim Carrey. So that one, I will be giving a 10. I know, I'm still trying not to give as many 10s, but it is a hard thing to do when you're doing movies as good as this. So, I hope that you enjoyed the show, and please tune in on Friday for our challenge, and Monday for our sports video, and next Wednesday for our review of our movies. Take good care and we'll see you next time. Shelly from Shelly Speaks saying toodles. Bye bye.